the complete game. In this section, we are going to see how to add some finishing touches to the shooting game we have been creating. Let's start by opening the Aim and Shoot project by double-clicking the Xcode project file. Here we are going to see how to add some common gaming features in Cocos 2D. Until now, we have been working with only one type of spaceship. We can add another spaceship animation using Sprite Sheet so that we will have one spaceship commuting from one side and another spaceship coming from the other side. Perform all the things that we have done in this tutorial along with memory management to incorporate this new spaceship. So here this is the project with the necessary modifications done. Now run the application and open the game scene. We can now see different types of spaceships coming from different sides. Let's change the delay of the schedule method so that spaceships will come more frequently. Next, we can add pause and home buttons to the game scene. For this, add the necessary images to the project. Create a menu with these two as the menu items. Position the menu in such a way that both the buttons appear at the bottom corners of the scene. In the Home Menu button action, write to code to unschedule all the selectors which are scheduled. Then write to code to load the main menu scene using the Replace Scene method of CC Director. Import the main menu.h file to avoid error. In the pause menu button action, we have to write the code to pause the game. Here we are going to implement the same method in such a way that if the game is running, then pressing this menu will cause the game to pause. And if the game is paused, pressing this menu will resume the game. For this, we can declare a boolean, which is true, means the game is paused, and otherwise, the game is running. We can use the resume method of CC Director to resume the paused game. Similarly, we can use the pause method of CC Director to pause the game. If we use pause method to pause the game, then CC Director will pause all the running items in the scene, including schedulers, animations, sprites, etc. We have written to code to pause and resume the game. Now let's add the pause feedback image and the pause button image to the project. Use these images for pause menu and also to display at the screen while the game is paused. run the application. In the game scene, press the pause menu. We can see that the game is paused. Press the pause menu again and we can see the game is resumed. In the screen, we can see the frame rate being displayed. We have to remove this as our debugging is almost over. For removing this, open the app delegate implementation file and comment the line which sets the set display FPS property of director to yes or set the value of it as no.
Run the application and we can see the frame rate display is removed from the screen of the application. Now the pause and resume works fine, but we need to change the image of the menu also to show visual feedback to the user, i.e. whether the app is paused or running. For this, let's add the play button to the project. Create new menu using this and the home button. Now what we do is make the menu with the play button off screen when the app starts running. When the game is paused, we have to make the menu with pause menu off screen and bring the menu with play menu to the screen and vice versa. Now run the application. Go to the game scene. Press the pause button. We can see that the button image becomes play once the game is paused. Now press the play button and we can see that the button image becomes pause once the game resumes. So in this section, we have seen how to add finishing touches to Coco's 2D applications with pause, play, and home buttons. So now our shooting application is ready and you can play with it. Now you can play with this application and the project resources and can add limitations to the bullet and also a game over scene once all the bullets are lost. Our final project file contains those also. But since we have gone in detail how to do everything step by step, you will be able to understand those codes all by yourself.